Here, if we can perceive it, is the whole secret of spiritual birth, growth and life. That all life exists for the purposes of soul, for the making of the spiritual man. Spiritual powers may be inborn or they may be gained by meditation. They are the normal powers of the spiritual man. Through these powers, the spiritual man stands, sees, hears, speaks in the spiritual world as the physical man stands, sees, hears, speaks in the natural world. The soul is older than all things and invincible. It is of the very nature of the soul to be unconquerable. up and realized in meditation, thou shalt discern thy oneness with everlasting life. Thou shalt enter into knowledge of divine things and human things. Little will remain unknown to thee. Seeing all life as God sees it is a true spiritual consciousness. The purpose of life, therefore, is the realizing the unveiling of the immortal man. The birth of the spiritual from the psychical, whereby we enter our divine inheritance and come to inhabit eternity. This is indeed salvation. has that perfect illumination which is the true spiritual consciousness. He comes into oneness of being immeasurable, invincible, everlasting in the divine realm. <laughs>